All right, all right, before we get too far into it, y'all should know the drill by now. This video is for subscribers only, so if you haven't hit that subscribe button yet, I'm gonna need you to do that right now. I think it's like important that women in sports like take ownership for their accomplishments. Um, because I think like I'm not the first female to work in baseball, I know that for sure. There have been a lot of women that have like fought a lot before me to even give me the opportunity to be in baseball. But they were always like behind the scenes and in the shadows. And I think like the way that you move, like women continue to like move forward is eventually like they start actually getting credit for the work they do. And so I think by having social media is such a great like vehicle for that because you can like you can have a voice. And so women don't have to just be okay with being in the shadows. They can have a voice on social media, right? And like take ownership of their accomplishments. Yeah. And I mean, so you I get, try to do that. That also exposes you a lot to like negativity, right? There's a lot yeah. of people that don't like that model or they don't like that you're taking they're uncomfortable i think that people are uncomfortable with it yeah so what would you what would you recommend to the next generation of young females working in sports how do they deal with that like what, what is it what, what needs to change with the landscape does there need to be a group of people that seek to give credit to females do the females need to take the credit for themselves and like if i think eventually it, it will they'll people they will just get the credit they deserve but at first you have to take it like that's one thing i've always learned about being a female is like uh nobody at first is going to ask for your opinion nobody's going to give you credit you have to take it you have to give your opinion you have to like one of the most important like things i learned when i first started out even just like um as a lawyer at the union was like, I would sit, we would like, I don't know, there'd be a bunch of very knowledgeable, like guys sitting at a table, giving their opinion on um, a certain matter. And they would ask each other, like, what do you think of this? And no one ever asked me. And then I was like, maybe it's cause I'm like new or young or whatever. So I never said anything. And then at one point I was told by one of the lawyers, like speak up. Cause I said something privately. He was like, that's a really good point. Like, why didn't you say that? I'm like, well, you know, like I'm, just cause no one really asked me and like they asked everyone else but I think I mean I don't blame like any of the guys at that were in that room for not asking me but it, I think it's just like what it's like everyone's so used to I don't know and that's how it always was and then once I just started kind of giving my opinion people people listen it's not like people didn't listen and then people do did start asking me like my opinion on things but sometimes you just have to like first give it or first take the credit right and then eventually it's it just becomes like more um like acceptable or normal for people so have you uh have you come up with any strategies to deal with some of the negativity that you get from doing that? Still working on it, but uh, <laughs> um, one one of like the best like pieces of like advice or something I got from Tanner, um, the raised in baseball kid. He's like I don't know, I think he's like twelve, maybe or thirteen now, but. He was like 11 years old and I remember him telling me because we were, remember we were talking about like trolls and yeah. how he deals with it. And he said, nobody like shits on people who are below them. And so like people who are taking shots at you are usually like, they're, I mean, I wouldn't say like, like not necessarily inferior, but like you're, you're doing better than them. Yeah. So it's like reminding yourself of that. And reminding yourself that, like, the internet does not speak for everybody. It's an echo chamber. Yeah. And then sometimes, like, turning off your notifications and stuff and just not listening to it. Go to the grocery store and realize that there's people around yeah. that don't actually <laughs> all hate you. <laughs> yeah. Because it can feel like that. Yeah, it's definitely tough handling that stuff. I also think, though, that there's, like, something to be said about calling out trolls. And I know people, like, 
hate on me for addressing trolls and they're like you're giving them the attention they want and I think the way I view it is sometimes I think young kids if you don't call them out for it young kids are looking and scrolling through and seeing comments horrible things that other people say and no one's no one's saying that's not okay yeah and so then they're like well these people are saying it and nobody seems to even really care so that's acceptable and sometimes I think it's important to show like one like that you fight back against it that it's not acceptable because I think people forget when you actually respond like I think most people are good people and they don't actually mean anything like any there's no ill will but then and when you respond to them or even if you respond privately and they're like oh shoot like I didn't real like they don't think you're human yeah it, you're a profile they just say something yeah and then, then you, you respond res- you respond to people all the time and get like oh, oh my I'm God, so I, sorry I, I had no idea that you were gonna yeah. see that I didn't know you were gonna respond the like, amount of people that are so mean to me and then I even just respond and then and then they apologize like and yeah. then they backtrack and I'm like it's like they you're trying to get attention by being super negative and then when they get it they're like oh my goodness like I got the attention now yeah. I don't know what to do yeah yeah it's a tough thing with social media. So your advice would be to turn your notifications off sometimes, have have a voice and be able you know, stand up for yourself and then you, realize that social media doesn't reflect, reflect everyone's the entire opinions. World. Yeah. I also think you have to have like a good like there's room for everybody in the industry. Like you don't wanna be the like you don't wanna be the only female. Yeah. It's like that's a lonely place to be too. Yeah. So um, having like a good group of people who are kind of like your support system in a way where yeah. you can vent about that stuff who will have your back when stuff is like you know yeah. going not your way or whatever yeah, having, a, having a good peer group is, is definitely important 